Don't get your feelings hurt. Read this. Hey, dude. Dude. Will Smith as the genie in Aladdin. Weird. That was a bit weird, yeah, considering it wasn't him that discerned. Did you see him painted blue? Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Weird. It is, is it weird? weird. Yeah. I want to see that. I haven't seen that. It looks like a, a meme. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's hot. Yeah, oh, it's hot. hot. <laughs> oh, hi there. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, this is Short Film Roundup. You've, you've stumbled upon another episode of Short <laughs> Film Roundup. Congratulations. Yeah. This is the place where three filmmakers uh, are cursed. Cursed filmmakers. Yeah, we're cursed. And we review short t- films in our free time. Uh, well, that's well, part of the curse. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We're cursed to review cursed. short yeah. films for, for eternity. All eternity. eternity. Yeah. Yeah. In a the eternal void of blackness. Yeah. It's pretty much better than anything else we could probably do here anyway. I've so. tried other stuff. Not as fun. It's nope. not as fun. No. No. Nope. It turns to ash in my mouth. <laughs> What does? <laughs> Anything else. Anything. The so only you... joy I can get is from reviewing short films. Mm. That doesn't turn to ash in your mouth? No. That's short films? No, it's more like uh, f- like fruit snacks. Okay. Yeah. Fruit snacks. Juicy. Like uh, Gushers. Ooh. Remember Gushers? Oh, yeah. I remember Gushers, gushers from the Shut 90s. Up, the 90s kid. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember. You don't uh, remember. Anyway. In the 2000s, I had Gushers. They're you, still around. No. Yes, it is buy Gushers true. Today. Gushers this is Short Film Roundup, <laughs> where we review user-submitted short films that's Films made by you guys, the filmmaking public. public. You can submit a movie too. How do we do that? There's a link down in the description. It's a Google Forms uh, link. You click on it, fill out the form. It'll send us to send it to us. We'll get fill an email. Fill out the form. Send to us. We'll it'll put us on. We'll put you on the schedule. We'll review your film. Don't type like this. It takes forever. That's yeah. how my dad types. Um, make sure you have the filmmaker's p- permission. Yep. Assuming you're not the filmmaker. Yeah. Uh, before you submit it to us. Yeah, if you're not the filmmaker, you better clear that business. You're going to be in trouble. And don't send us any web series. No web series. We're not taking it, all right? No. <laughs> don't, don't send us a music video. <clears throat> we're not taking it, Hate all right? music videos. No don't, vlogs. Don't send us a vlog. No freaking vlogs. We're not taking please. it. Please. Oh, my gosh. Narrative short yeah. film only. Thank you. Stand alone. Uh, no, no, narrative that, short no, film. No. Narrative. I might take a documentary. No. Yeah, we'd take Net, doc oh, and experimental. <laughs> and experimental. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I guess anything. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty much anything. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Actually, really anything. It's really anything. Uh, under 30 minutes. Under 30 minutes. None of this 31-minute bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you there. Um, All right. Yes. So uh, what are we doing at the moment? Well, we're waiting for payment. Payment. Hey. hey. Speak of the demon. Wow, always on time. Payman's name, and he sends us his uh, little greetings. <laughs> Payman greetings. greetings. Holiday greetings from Payman. Yeah. <laughs> He's made his own stationery. Wow, that's oh, nice. Already. Wow. Uh, that's a little weird. Well, it's no calligraphy, but it's... It looks... Uh, something. What, what even is that? That's cursive, man. What's cursive? I know. We, you wouldn't know. You're I so much younger than me. <laughs> But we yeah, used only to, 90s kids remember we cursive. We used to write in cursive. That's why I know what's in the Constitution. <laughs> huh? <laughs> and you don't. Right. Anyway, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thanks, big guy. Don't, uh, don't thank him. We're cursed. Yeah. But I'm bored. I want to review a movie. <laughs> what's it say? It says, uh, Partitioned Heart by Matt Morris. Underscore. There's an underscore in there. What did that... <laughs> How, How did you know possible? there was an underscore? <laughs> I read it. Let's try that again. <laughs> By Matt Morris. There we All go. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, so how do they watch the movie? Well, if uh, you remember that description we were talking about, there's a link in there. The first, first link. One, and it goes to this movie. So if you click on that, you can watch the movie, you can come back, and then you can watch us talk about that movie. Boom. That's how it goes. Let's go do that. So let's go do it right now. ring a ding Dillo. Dillo? <laughs> Ring a ding dillo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you all right, man? Duh. What's a dillo? <laughs> what is a dillo? I'm a dillo. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're back. <laughs> oh, hey there. Hey. Welcome back. This just in. D is a dillo. 
Oh wait, they don't know no, no, what no, that no. is. No, no, armadillo. <laughs> oh, was before he's an armadillo. We were, we, we were, we, oh, we weren't even yeah. there. Oh, Listen, shit. And we're yeah. back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back. Now we're back. <laughs> okay. okay, good. Well, right. good movie. Good, good hey, movie. God, spoilers, oh, guys. <laughs> thanks for watching that was a the review. Good movie. Good movie. <laughs> See you next time. That's our review. That's our review. <laughs> Bye. Good movie. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Oh, hey, it's my turn. It's your turn. Tell us what Partition underscore Heart was about. It's about a father who has a son who is an a hacker wizard master hacker <laughs> who hacks himself into the AI he, and he gets to... Wait, it sounds like you don't like this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. He hacks let, himself into AI? Yeah, let me, uh, let me be clear here. This movie is awesome. I thought this was a really cool movie. Uh, it's, it's about, you know... Uh, a father who stumbles upon his his AI son, not he, AI, not AI. No, well, how he, is he's it? an uploaded consciousness. Oh, okay, that's his real consciousness. Okay, well, whatever it is, uploaded. Artificial? No, <laughs> and it runs on Windows. Okay, <laughs> oh yeah, uploaded consciousness, Typical. whatever, whatever. And he's talking to his son, but his son wants to be shut down because his whole existence is only speaking. He has no life. And he's still suffering. And is suffering, yeah. So it's about, you know, the father-son conflict. Well, father coming to terms with his son's death, basically. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was fairly well executed. The acting was really, really good. Uh, it actually made me feel a little bit towards the end. I was like, oh, man, I feel that. Mm, Feeling. I, I thought it was pretty much great. Pretty much great. Pretty much great. Uh, the um, downsides. Let's hold the downsides. Okay. Can you tell me your 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 first impressions? Uh, my first impressions was that I I loved this movie, um, almost entirely because of the performance of this actor who plays the dad. Yeah, I would, I would agree. It, uh, this was a performance piece. Yeah. Be, being that ninety percent of the movie is one shot of his face. Yeah. A close up. Yeah. And he holds your attention mm -hmm. the whole movie the whole way, without yeah. needing to do a whole bunch of fancy shots or any anything. It's just him. Yeah. And he he delivers. Yeah. So that was awesome. Uh, and what I really liked is that uh, this is a pretty complicated concept, and the filmmaker didn't go to great lengths to try to over-explain it, right? Yeah. Th he did drop this little scene in that we all thought was problematic, We'll, we'll right, which we'll yeah. get to in a minute. But he could have done so many other things. Yeah. He could have tried to tell the backstory of how his son put his consciousness into a computer, and we just didn't need it. Yeah. And he was wise enough to leave it out. There was so much... So kudos. So much right with this film that we talk about that's so wrong with other films, um, and that's uh, character development mm -hmm. is a big thing. And we have we have that. The, this whole story is a character piece, you know, so that's really, really nice. So... Really nice job, uh, Mr. Morris. Um, assuming you're a man, Mr. Morris. Uh, uh, Taylor, yeah. I you... never assume gender. Oh well, uh, well, thank you, Morris. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Thank you, uh, Taylor. Tell us a little bit about your downsides. qualms. Yeah, your qualms. Qualms. Uh, well, Kenny mentioned the scene which was at the beginning. I think we all where, agree on this. Yeah, we, where yeah, we all agree on it. It starts with him talking to his son and his son's like shut me down and then it cuts to like a flashback flashback ish this you know here. yeah we cut back in time to to when he discovers that his son's consciousness is on his computer yeah and which is very like barely hinted dude, and yeah it was hard for me to understand that's what was happening because after we finished it i had to tell you guys i was like wait yeah. Well, what was that scene about? Because the audio is not very good in this. His scene. performance was so good in the last two thirds of the movie that I forgot this scene even happened. <laughs> even yeah. Happened, yeah. The but dialogue is just hard to pick up. It on. seems out of place, and it just didn't have to be there. Yeah. If this didn't. scene wasn't in it at all, the movie would be just as good, if not better. Yeah. I would. Yeah, I would say it would be better. Um, yeah. Really, all we needed was that. I mean, we start in the middle in medias res again, um, right here. Yeah, if this just ran on right into the f f concluding scene, yeah. it would have been perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree, definitely. <clears throat> um, yeah, that would that would that would be my only qualm too, really. Um, actually, I do have another thing. Unless you were you still had another point. Um, the acting, I was not pulled in on on the 
opening scene, and that kind of pulled me out of the movie. Um, because the way he's acting is he's... I, I don't know what this is called. There's a dramatic term for it. But when someone pauses to, uh, to, to let the other person talk, and then they say their line as if it's a response, but they're not feeling. It's, there's, you remember when we talked about a, uh, our last award that we gave to the acting performance of mm-hmm. one of our shorts. What was Kiss and Tell. Kiss and Tell. So Kiss and Tell had a really good back and forth moment. This does not feel like a back and forth moment. It feels like here, specifically this beginning part. It feels like he's waiting to deliver his line. Then he takes a breath and then says his line. Mm-hmm. And it and he does it to every single line that he says in the opening part. Yeah. Then after that, when he gets into the sad stuff, that's that's heavy. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. he got into it. Yeah. You can tell he got into it. Yeah. It's a really difficult thing to pull off, by yeah. the way. It should be said. It, it takes serious chops Absolutely. to do that yeah. right. Yeah. Because yeah. essentially you're trying to now, you're completely conscious of what your lines are and what your partner's lines are. You already know that in your head, but you have to sort of trick yourself into believing you don't. Like hearing right. it for the first time. Yeah. Right. yeah. Which is why putting, I think, emotion into your words, I think is is one of the ways actors can get beyond auditions. There was, there was a time where I did auditions for one of my shorts and I was like blown away by this guy how how emotional he was when he was delivering the lines. And I was taken, I was like, yes, you know, you're the guy who's, who's going to come be in my film. I didn't tell him that, but that's what I was thinking. My casting director was like, you know, hold on, let him read this and this and this part. That doesn't have the emotional impact. And he said it the exact same way. And I'm like, oh, well, that's, that's not good. <laughs> um, and actors kind of do these things, early actors, you know, not, not really good actors, but early actors kind of do these things where they put the, their tricks of, forcing emotion into lines so that it feels like it's genuine. Um, this did not have that problem. And I was just, I, I really liked that they did. He didn't have that. And that was really cool. Um, yeah. I mean, he's talking to a, a screen, you know, which is extremely hard to, to feedback, to have feedback on. I love that. Um, we mostly stick on his, like close up of his face for most of the movie. Yeah. Like, I really love that. He has a very expressive face, too. Yeah. And holy cow, when he tapped into the waterworks. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was, was awesome. awesome. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. I mean, those were like freaking tears. Yeah. And his nose was running into his beard and yeah. everything. And it just yeah. it just felt like uh, pure misery. Yeah. 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 I really did buy into, like, you know, like his father, like, that he is a dad letting his son die yeah like i totally bought into that yeah i did too i totally did too. i felt some of the pain which i love uh I i'm gonna i'm gonna knit a little bit oh yeah i got some pick. too pick some knits um i don't know if i'm reading way too deep into his performance in the beginning in the opening shot where we see him it looks like um it looks like they're doing like a second take after he had already cried so his eyes are kind of red and a little already, watery. Yeah. yeah. But he, he's not at a particularly... Maybe they shot that stuff first. You're talking about this yeah, part? Yeah, right here, yeah. Yeah. It's not like he's... If I feel like he's cried before this scene happened in production. That's interesting, yeah. But I, I don't know if I'm just see, trying to find flaws. No, <laughs> well, I, I mean, I felt like, yeah, there was some... That was my instinct. Well, that that's why... This is the only part in here that I felt that his acting was weird. Mm. You know, And I don't know what it was about this beginning part that did that but it definitely feels different like i said he's he's doing these breaths where he he takes a breath he takes a pause and then he says his line and then he pauses and he takes his line and it's like it's not it doesn't feel natural like the other ones yeah like that sip from the cup you know was so that he could pause <laughs> you know um i'm i'm wondering if it was a directing error here if, if they had to squeeze in this part because maybe something else didn't work or something mm. um yeah i don't know um, I want to say that the story here is kind of a perfect way to tell a story in a short uh, because there's not a lot of context that we need. And like we said before, we don't even need really this scene where he discovers him because mm-hmm. it's already implied that it's there. Yeah. Um, I think it's a perfect kind of story to tell in a short because yeah. you you have you have the context there and now it's just all about the emotion and mm-hmm. that's it. It's about these two characters talking and that's it. Um, and when you're, we've talked about, uh, dialogue pieces before, you know, when it's driven by dialogue, the shots, you know, 
amplify what's already being said and that's exactly what's happening here and you know any shot that's being done is close up on his face which heightens emotion you know there's no unnecessary things in here it just it just feels very cohesive it's my turn to pick nits knit it all right pick it knit, knit, knit. nits beware <laughs> uh so i am a geek for set dressing yeah and i always pick up on on set dressing faux pas bother me because I, I think it's it's a super powerful way to develop your characters um, and a really easy place to mess up. So again, this is a nitpick. Don't yeah. don't don't kill me over this. But go to where the uh, they show the that this this bit right here uh, just bugged me at first, and then bugged me more when the movie was over. Oh, this color for two things. No, well, so. Things like this sometimes are hard to control, and it's like totally like a an afterthought thing. But that orange outfit that the dude's wearing mm-hmm. makes it look like he is an inmate. It does, yeah. If you look at that well, quickly, you have he a, looks like he is in jail. You have a, a brick background too. Yeah, brick background. <laughs> he's got the shaved head. Yeah, <laughs> he looks like he's in jail. You know, and and an audience is only gets to see that for a few seconds. Right. The other thing is that. Whether you meant to or not, this shot tells me that Purell and ibuprofen are somehow significant to this character. Yeah, I was actually thinking that Having myself. sanitized hands yeah. and, or dealing with headaches or <clears throat> uh, Maybe some, it is. Well, maybe it is, but yeah. it, it never tied in. It never mattered. I, yeah, right? I didn't seem to. And so seem little, to. just little things like that where it's like, oh, we should just throw some stuff on this coffee table so that it looks more real. Yeah. You have to think about this, these things because every frame you're telling your audience, you're giving them some clues to build up more context, and that just built up context that didn't ultimate wasn't ultimately satisfied by anything else in the story. Totally agree. Yep. Totally agree. There you go. Knit has been destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> Eliminated. Knit. <laughs> um. You don't want to leave knits. They turn into lice. Yeah, yeah. man. You got to pick and those then you, Then when you have that kid. That kid with the lice. With the lice, you don't want that. It's the worst. Then you you end up with. Uh, I've had that kid once. Sag. Ooh. Oh, we don't work with sag. Okay. I'm out. Sorry. Out. Sorry. Out. Uh, out. Delete out. the review. <laughs> Didn't realize this was a union gig. Ooh. We're uh, contractually obligated to decline, <laughs> and to provide you with catering. Top tier oh, catering. We have yeah. to do that. We have to. It's a sag thing. Well, if you win our best picture award at the end of the year we will send you a pizza <laughs> whether you're sag or not no Fine. no no if you're sag you won't oh if you're sag you don't get it <laughs> can't send it to the sag they'll want they'll, oh they'll want don't the want the whole- i've got it i've got a knit to pick <laughs> pick that knit okay so um pick it <laughs> uh this was weird yeah that's a it's an exe file no, this one's weird. <laughs> Dell. No, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> so, Why Dell? I have a Dell monitor. So uh, this is shot as assuming that the person who, who's watching this knows how Windows works. And that, that's, that's a little weird to me. Um, well, because I don't. No, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm totally... Well, I don't know how Windows works. So. <laughs> See, I totally understand Windows. And, I, and when I look at the screen, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's the you know, program is stopping it from shutting down. See, I didn't catch that. Someone who doesn't know Windows all the time yeah. wouldn't be able to catch that. Um, but this is a weird screen because this screen you can just shut down anyway, right? This is a screen that's telling you, hey, this this program's still running. Are you sure you want to shut down? Yeah. Why would he go cancel? I have answers. Yeah. Though, though it's still, still your, your point still stands, yeah. but I have answers. Sure. Um, one... I like that it's very true to Windows yeah. and that it's just exactly how Windows works regardless if you're familiar with it or not because it's just how it is. Yeah. I like that realism. Um, and for that program thing, in order to solve your issue, they needed to show a shot of the file name that said something intriguing, something about his son that he didn't yeah. know, you know? So that way yeah. there's motive for him to say no. Yeah, yeah. and, a, and a, a, so a, a, cl- a better look at that, and I think a better look at this, mm-hmm. like maybe cut into the monitor yeah. would have helped a lot. Yeah, yeah. it would have. Yeah, but your point still totally stands. Um, 
because the there, there's no close. It holds water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the the whole Windows thing, uh, it doesn't add to realism to me because because one, I always I always think on low budget films they're only using OSs because they can't afford to make one themselves. That's the that's the, always the thought that goes through my mind. I'm certain that's not what everyone thinks, um, but that that's just the first thing that comes to mind. The second thing that comes to mind is uh, when you're showing a Windows when you're showing a shot like this, right? We have him on the right side, computer on the left side. We we are showing the computer. We're showing the audience. There's some information here that you need to take in. That this is telling something about the story. If people don't know Windows, then that doesn't work. Yeah, I think it should have been close-ups. Yeah, that's all. I think it should have been full-on screen caps, like really close, showing the words. Yeah. But I th- I just like that it's true to Windows. I never like seeing other OSs. I think in it's weird, movies. but it. I think it's equally weird. In shorts, for some reason, I, I think it's because it looks cheap to me. Hmm. But but that's not the nit. That's not the nit I want to pick. I don't care about that. <laughs> you you honed in on the appropriate nit. Cool. You cool. did. That nit was picked. Yeah. The lice picked. has been averted. Lice has been averted. Um, also, I kind of liked that you stuck with these uh, crazy painterly like. Uh, backgrounds on the desktop that feels real to me mm. a lot of times in movies people have like one that one looks color. a lot like sperm <laughs> <laughs> oh. infiltrating an egg oh yeah you ever seen what that looks like uh-huh yeah that's what's going on right there i see it mm, hot so what does that mean it's the creation of life don't you see it's tied into the meaning of the story is it because it's his son uh there you go yep that's it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what that is? Look, I just said it looks like sperm. That's it, okay? What's wrong with that? It's just sperm. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> that's, it's that's a good it. shot, by the way. It's a cool shot. It's a cool <laughs> shot. I'm glad we get that really good look at the sperm. Patient. Why didn't we get a close-up of the sperm? Uh, it's a, a, a very um, uh, powerful moment. Because they're fighting over which one gets yeah. into the egg. It's a big deal. What Only about, one will make it. What about the other sperm? Do they, they die? die? They die. Are they real people? Do they have feelings? They do. They do. Do they every, have identity? Every sperm is sacred. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. We went Whoa! <laughs> is this VR? How do we Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> How are you doing this? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> oh. This is insane. This is not allowed. <laughs> he, this oh. is against the rules. <laughs> this is unholy. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sperm. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now you're talking. Uh, questions for the filmmaker, maybe? Should we do that? <laughs> We're Smug. like desecrating his art now. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Are you? Questions? Questions. I'm not. <laughs> uh, okay. My first question for you, dear filmmaker, is um, uh, why did you make this? <laughs> <laughs> what a question. What a question. One, one of us asks that every time because we default. honestly want to know. Is, is this, we do. It, is this something that just – came out of your heart is just something you just wanted to make uh or is this an assignment or a competition sort of thing uh so what was the scenario under which you made this film and uh also did you do it all in one day interesting interesting um uh i have a soft spot for ai Kinds of films. Mm-hmm. Um, soon, as soon as the computer started talking, I nudged D. I'm like D D D. I love 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 these kinds of films. I want to know what your uh, inspiration was, and if this is the kind of genre that you work with a lot. Um, I'd like to know the uh, the details of that kinds of those kinds of things. I'm I like that stuff a lot. Um, this was impeccably lit, by the way. Oh, beautiful lighting! That the lighting yes. yeah, was freaking gorgeous. Yep. Um, and we've seen a lot of times where people are trying to make it look like the light is coming off of a monitor alone. Yeah. And it it's really bad. easy to get that wrong. <laughs> yeah. This looks very good. Looks great. Um, was this made um, 
while, like post film school, during film school, or are you not even doing film school? So I don't know. So yeah, how that, old is this? Why? Movie too? How old is it? I'm sorry, I don't have good questions. <laughs> D has got the good questions. Kenny got the good questions. Usually, when a movie's super good, I don't have any questions. Yeah, that was one thing we all kind of agreed on immediately. Is uh, well, this is going to be a short conversation because we like it. Good movie because yeah. it's good. Good movie. <laughs> We like bad movies that we can just tear to pieces, yeah. burn to the ground, destroy the confidence <laughs> of the filmmaker, yes. make them question their uh, choices in life. Definitely. Yeah. 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 But with a movie like this, what? Yeah. I mean, it's much, obvious yeah, this guy's going to make it. There's not much we can do here. You, yeah. You're on the right track, pal. You don't even need us. <laughs> you don't need us. <laughs> don't need us. You don't need us, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that man. scene, though, that scene didn't need to be in there. Oh yeah, get, get rid of, of that scene. I take it back. You need us to point out that yeah. kind of thing. Get Next the, time, get just the scene out of there. Just clear your scripts with us first. <laughs> just send to us first. And yeah, because we I could have saved you the trouble and just yeah. said, nah, "Don't do that." <laughs> right? Totally. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Um. Hmm. Yes. Okay. We're done here. We're done here. Thank Whoa. you for submitting your. Oh, thanks, Tim, for sending us this film. Tim, what's your relation to this film? I didn't see you in the credits. Ooh, yeah, yeah you're just like sending random movies now? What's <laughs> uh -oh. going on, Tim? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's because Tim's SAG, that's why. Oh, oh yeah. just send all your SAG buddies. I see how it is. Yeah. Everyone everyone who doesn't know SAG what we're talking after. about, they're like, who's Tim? Who's Tim? Yeah, so Tim, this film was submitted to us by Timothy J. Cox. Yeah, who's been on an, a legendary streak of submitted films. Yeah. Uh, um, and he, next episode... Is the last the Tim? Last Not that we know what the, the film is. What are you talking about? I don't know. Don't I actually know. have a whole schedule. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, I mean uh, the cards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, we done. Do, we done. Okay. Bye. Um, did you guys ever figure out what that noise was? Uh. -uh. Yep. What? what? Was it? There's cockroaches in the roof. The roof of the void? Of the uh -huh. void. Turns out there's a roof. It's about a mile up. <laughs> there's a roof. That's what that noise is. <laughs> the yeah. cockroaches chime? Well, the cockroaches are making like sonic booms, dude. They're fast cockroaches. Oh. They wow. break the sound barrier. That's why you can hear them a mile away. Right. Right. I don't that like makes, cockroaches. Yeah, no, just ignore them.